We turn now to a music minister who was murdered. Tonight, his church is praying for justice. And DeKalb deputies say the man responsible is armed, dangerous, and on the run. Investigators say Michael LaDre Hill is responsible for shooting and killing 54-year-old Timothy Newhouse. Fox 5's Jacqueline Schultz joins us live from the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office. And Jacqueline, where do authorities think he might be hiding out? Well, tonight, deputies I spoke to believe that Michael Hill is somewhere in the DeKalb County area, still hiding out or in the general metro area as well. Tonight, the church and loved ones of Timothy Newhouse are asking for your help to find his killer. Very dedicated to God. He, uh, he mentored children. Church members say 54-year-old Timothy Newhouse had a passion for worship and gospel music and was faithful as a servant of New Directions Ministries in Southwest Atlanta. DeKalb deputies now say the man responsible for killing him is 24-year-old Michael Ladre Hill, who is armed and dangerous. It's devastating. I mean, it's so devastating when you talk to him on a daily basis because he constantly was spreading the word of God, spreading the word of God. Pamela Pinkert of New Directions Ministries gets emotional seeing the Crime Stoppers look out for the suspect. She's one of many worried there would be no closure in the murder of the beloved music minister who she says was devoted to serve the Lord. Sunday night, February 3rd at the Sony Food Mart on Memorial Drive near Stone Mountain. DeKalb detectives say the gunman was seen arguing with Newhouse inside before he shot the victim outside. No word on a motive for the brutal crime against a grandfather. I always would pray, you know, God, I know that you will not let this person get by with what they did. Pamela Pinkert says the loss has been devastating to the church, who doesn't want the person who hurt Newhouse to hurt anyone else. How could somebody take somebody's life like that?